Everyone thinks they know what sumo wrestling is. It's about big fat guys slamming into each other, right? Well, yes and no. Sumo may seem comical to you and me, but it's actually a very serious business. There's an awful lot more to sumo wrestling than most outsiders ever realize. Would you like to know more about sumo wrestlers? Keep watching to find out more. You're watching Top 10 World, and in today's video, we'll be talking about the things you do not know about sumo wrestlers. But before we hop into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. 1. What do these guys weigh? The average weight of a sumo wrestler, also called a rikishi, is around 350 pounds. But they can range anywhere between 250 pounds and 450 pounds, plus some. There's a lot of muscle under all that fat, but bigger is not always better when it comes to winning matches. Some of the most successful wrestlers have been under 300 pounds. All the extra tonnage takes its toll on a body. Heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes all contribute to an average life expectancy of only 63 years. 2. What's with the man bun? The man buns sported by sumo are called chanmage. The hairstyle has its origins with samurai and is an important symbol of honor for the rikishi. Special barbers called tokoyama are employed to style wrestlers' hair. The profession is highly respected and often continued for generations within a family. Tokoyama must train for a minimum of 10 years before they're allowed to style a professional wrestler. The hair is heavily oiled and combed into a top knot or for highly ranked tournament wrestlers, it's pulled forward and fanned out into a ginkgo leaf shape on top of the head. When a wrestler retires, the top knot is ceremoniously cut off. 3. What is it? Sport, religion, or martial arts? <laughs> Sumo is a hugely popular sport in Japan, and wrestlers are revered celebrities. The sport has its spiritual roots in ancient Shinto tradition, where wrestlers perform for the entertainment of the deities. It emerged as a professional sport in the 1600s and has maintained many of its ancient symbols and traditional rituals that carry spiritual significance. Before each match, the wrestlers sprinkle salt on the ring as a purification ritual and to protect them from injury. Sumo wrestlers have special traditional garments that they're required to wear in public, and they also are expected to carry themselves in a dignified and honorable way at all times. Women are not allowed to be sumo wrestlers in Japan. 4. What is the objective? Sumo matches take place in a ring, called a doyo, made of clay and sand. Sumo is a full contact sport, and the wrestlers impact one another, flesh rippling as they try to push each other off balance. The first wrestler to be pushed out of the ring or to touch the ring with anything other than the sole of his foot is the loser. There are no formal weight classes within the divisions, so wrestlers competing against one another may be very different in size. Matches usually last less than a minute. 5. What is the sumo diet? The diet of a sumo wrestler consists of about 10,000 calories packed into two gigantic meals. The main dish they eat is called chanko nabe, a Japanese stew with fish, vegetables, meat, and tofu served with bowl after bowl of rice and washed down with beer. Lots of it. Strangely enough, wrestlers do not eat breakfast. By training first thing in the morning and skipping breakfast, they slow down their metabolism and build up their appetites, allowing them to consume more during the day and pack on the pounds. After lunch, they take a good long power nap and then train until dinner. More chenko nabe, rice, and lots more beer. Incidentally, many wrestlers open popular chenko nabe restaurants when they retire. 6. What's with the loincloth? The loincloth that wrestlers wear is called a mawashi, and it's actually a 30 foot long piece of cotton canvas worn during training, or silk worn for tournaments. Wrapped many times around the body of the wrestler and knotted in the back, Grabbing and pulling on an opponent's mawashi during a match is an acceptable strategy some wrestlers use to put their opponent off balance. If it comes off, the wrestler who loses his mawashi is disqualified and presumably pretty embarrassed, so wardrobe malfunctions are carefully avoided. Oh, and those sweaty loincloths are never washed. Sumo believe that in addition to weakening the fabric, 
Washing it could result in washing away the accumulated good luck. 7. How do sumos live? Sumo live and train year-round in stables. Stables are commune-like centers that are run by stable masters, who are usually ex-wrestlers and have a distinct hierarchy of privilege and discipline. Each stable is like an extended family, and all wrestlers have specific duties, routines, and strict codes of conduct. Young men who wish to become sumo wrestlers can join a stable as a novice apprentice around age 15 or sometimes younger. They'll leave their families to live with other sumo in a stable for the duration of their career. Wrestlers never change stables, and wrestlers from the same stable rarely compete against one another in tournaments. 8. Is hazing a part of stable life? Hazing is a part of sumo training. As young, low-ranked members of a stable, life is difficult. The younger, lower-ranked wrestlers are expected to do chores, errands, and extra work, wait on higher-ranked wrestlers, and endure physical punishment as part of their training to develop their mental toughness. They must eat last, and whatever is left over by the older wrestlers, clean up after the others, clean and maintain the stable, ring, and living quarters. A novice initiation might even include physical beating. 9. What's with the stomping and deep knee bends? As gigantic as sumo are, they are also amazingly flexible. Much of their day is spent in training doing ritual moves to increase strength and flexibility. Traditional moves include foot stomping, lunging, and repeatedly smacking into another object or wrestler. Stomping moves involve a wrestler standing with feet wide apart, raising one leg high into the air, then bringing it down with a thundering stomp. Another training move to increase flexibility is squatting, feet flat on the ground with legs far apart, leaning forward so that the belly touches the ground. An example of young man, Sumo, was instructed to pick up a huge boulder that was just outside of the ring and carry it around the ring several times while intermittently doing deep knee bends. 10. Tournaments and Ranking there are six divisions of sumo, ranked in a hierarchy from lowest to highest. The highest, most skilled divisions are known as the Sekatori, and garner the most attention and public devotion. There are six grand tournaments held every year in Japan, lasting about 15 days each, during which wrestlers compete to advance to the finals. Undefeated wrestlers match up on the final day of the tournament to compete for the grand champion of Yokozuna. May 22, 2016, was the final day of the May tournament. Hakuho, now 37-time champion, won the tournament with a controversial sidestep move called a henka. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos.